Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm here with another Call of the Wild video. So basically, I haven't really been on Call of the Wild for the past, like, two, three months. Um, but recently I started, um, getting back into it a little bit and ended up getting kind of a lot of trophies. So now the first couple aren't that good, but just an albino, um, doe, Roosevelt elk. So nothing too crazy, but still, I mean, a pretty decent trophy. And then also another female albino, this time a wild yak. Now I got this guy like just after release of Sunder Patan. Actually, I think it was on release day. Uh, I just never ended up putting him in a video. So here it is. I mean, nothing really special, but uh, 160.92, pretty decent. Um, but yeah, two pretty good shots. And I haven't really played Sunder Patan very much, so I'm happy I got this trophy at least. Now, the next clip here, I was on Verhonga Savannah and ended up finding two Diamond Lions. So, this is the first. I don't know if I actually got footage of the second one, but they were on the same server like an hour and a half apart. I literally hunted the server for so long. But, I mean, it did pay off. I'm just looking for an albino. But, I mean, still pretty decent. 49.02. Um, kind of a crazy pose, though. Like, I'm pretty happy with that. But, either way. Now, another clip from Sunder Patan is actually a Diamond Barasinga. Now, as you might have saw from the Tiger video that I recorded, uh, I have a lot of rare Tiger. So I really needed at least one to go on a multi-mount. And shockingly, I found one like second server after uh, actually going for him. So here it is, 234.31, pretty decent. Um, I think they look pretty good, but I mean, I don't really care for them that much. So I probably won't go hunt that many more of them. But now something I'm really excited for is a Diamond Black Buck here on Parquet Fernando. Now... I've always liked Diamond Black Buck, but I just have horrible luck with certain species that I like, uh, specifically like elk and um, small game, like Axis Deer, Black Buck, um, Roe Deer, things like that just never seem to really go my way. But yeah, Brown, uh, the new fur type looks great, 135, so uh, pretty decent, ended up taking him with the 22-250, so that was pretty cool too. And now here on my single player Silver Edge Peaks, I was looking for a rare bison, and ended up finding this level 5. Uh, I had to reset the time in the game like four times because I spooked him out, and then I end up missing the shot. Uh, luckily he doesn't move, so I go ahead and take him there, and he starts to drop right away. Uh, the 300 AR I believe this was, so I mean... Nothing too crazy about that. Uh, obviously, an insanely overpowered weapon. But 190, I don't really know how good that is for, like, true racks, Plains Bison. I mean, it's like 7 over diamonds, so, I mean, it looks pretty good. I just kind of prefer the Legacy uh, horns for the Bison. I don't know why. I was really excited for the true racks and then ended up liking the old ones better. But now here on Sunder Patan, again, a 5 medium blue sheep. Now, I kind of forgot about this trophy, and watching that back, I don't know why I didn't shoot the level 5 first. That's, like, really risky to go for, and this was my first ever and only diamond blue sheep, but 164.64, I don't really know how good that is, once again. I really haven't been keeping up with it, just kind of hunting it and enjoying the game. Now, here is where kind of my luck for elk turned around. Now, I've been hunting Roosevelt elk a lot recently. They've just been something I've just... I think they look so good in the lodge. So, I've just been hunting them nonstop. Uh, it's my first thing I do when I get into multiplayer is I go check every Roosevelt elk time. And then I'll look for another map. But this was actually, I believe, my second ever. Or maybe my first uh, diamond, and I had never got a Diamond Roosevelt Elk, uh, before this with over 4,000 hours in the game, so, uh, pretty awesome, once again, I just think they look so nice, this is actually my favorite rack for them too, so I was really happy that 
ended up getting this one, uh, one of the first ones. But yeah, now this one, again, one of my favorite racks, this one was kind of different because I ended up taking him with iron sights. So I do like turn off the outline to try to see him better. But looking back at it, it kind of made really bad uh, angle for the video. But either way, it was just for fun. But as you can see, it took him down. No problem right there. And he uh, ends up starting to drop. So once again, just insane luck recently. I went from one of the biggest dry streaks ever to just constantly finding diamonds. I seem to get somewhere between like a diamond every like two hours I hunt them, which is pretty good for me. Now I know it might be a lot easier for you, but I just have horrible luck with elk specifically. Um, so I'm just happy that I've been finding them. And now another one. Now you'll notice almost every single clip is at this exact lake right here. I call it Mushroom Lake. It's on the right side, kind of in the middle on Leighton Lakes. Crazy good or crazy bad. Either there's like one herd of all does or it's just loaded with elk. Um, either way, this one was really janky. I thought he was going to troll, so I took him with the 454 just for fun. And he ended up making it. I'm just so confused on how this made it. I ended up looking at the true score and it was like nothing special. Once again, here on Mushroom Lake for the third diamond. Uh, off this one lake here on uh, the other side this time another one really great rack ended up scoring 400.74 just awesome to keep finding these and I will not stop putting them in the lodge and I ended up finding actually a piebald um, earlier today so I'm super happy with that too that'll probably be in a later video but yeah this one's pretty awesome too and now finally I believe this is the last clip of the video, but this is a pretty nice gold dilute mule deer. And now actually, w until I looked back at this uh, when editing, I did not realize there was another dilute in the herd. Um, I just can't really believe that, but anyway, 243.84, uh, pretty decent, really happy with that. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.